Remember in the original you had to get a lighter and investigate a painting and fireplace to get it gem? Yeah it's gone. Remember having to push statues into their respected spots to get it gem? Yeah it's gone. Remember the library puzzle? Yeah it's gone. Remember having to close doors and open doors to get the chess pieces? Yeah me either. Welcome to Shitmake. Resident Evil 2 Shipmake dumbed down the puzzles to make them more accessible for the mentally challenged autistic COD casual floss dancing faggot filth modern gamer. Majority of the original puzzles were scrapped in favor of simplistic status. Gotta casualize and streamline. Right crap com? Just ask those RE6 pitiful excuse of so-called puzzles. You now just grab the gem. Only one now by putting a book into a hand of a statue. The library is useless and has no meaning. You just pull the cases around to form a fucking bridge. The chess pieces are grabbed by opening and closing fucking doors and then that's it. The only other puzzles are a the stupid X-ray gun ones and a sherry block puzzle which is mind-boggling retardedly out of place just like the whole orphanage scene. She is not an orphan retards at crapcom. She was at school. Not a mommy is a crack whore and daddy in jail over a stolen 7-up orphanage. Also now you need to solve a fucking retarded puzzle to turn on power and also get into the star's office. Really? Star's office never had a puzzle. Now they tacked on a shitty one. Find a star's badge which is really a fancy schmancy USB to get into a out of place armory. Oh Chris's journalists scrapped as well and Leon and Claire never meet up in the star's office by the way too. Sorry but these puzzles are fucking trash. In the original character showed more personality and character. In the shit make their generic and have no personality. In fact the only characters that show any sign of life are Marvine and Kendo. Which is pathetic crap com. In the shit make Leon is a pushover soy boy generic Call of Duty character and Claire is a whiny bitch with a punchable face worse than Jerry Seinfeld. They show no genuine emotion or character in this failed abortion product. Same with Ada, Sherry, Irons, Annette, Birkin, or anyone else for that matter. They hardly even speak or show anything related to the story. In the original they were more in-depth and genuine. Irons was clearly a upset and insane chief while in the remake he is a generic John Goodman looking bad guy straight out of a 80s action movie. Annette is just running around screaming like a feminist when Trump got elected. Birkin has no screen time in the remake except in one scene when they come for the samples. Sherry is almost mute and has no personality this time around compared to her original counterpart. In the original she was useful and was an actual child in a nightmare. She acted like a kid, but still was a strong girl. Here she does nothing but stand around with a blank stare. Mr. Dot X gonna give it to ya is a pussy this time around. He only has two forms. First being trenchy form which just walks around stalking you during certain sections of the game. He will go away after you do a certain thing like get to a certain area or solve a certain puzzle but that's it. He's not a major threat as they were making him out to be. The second and final form is he attacks you at the end on the lift to the train which is literally the Operation Raccoon City Battle. Real original crap com. He comes stomping in with no shirt, ooh scary a shirtless man to prove his manliness rough, and one claw that's on fire. Yep somehow just a few explosions caused him to turn and this time he's a pussy compared to his original self. In the original he would run and had two claws. He was tougher and deadlier. Here he's weaker, slower doesn't seem to charge at you either and see and be put down rather quickly. Ada gives you a rocket launcher straight out of Resident Evil 1, a huge mistake crap come you cut out yet another weapon. One shot is all that is needed and bam, 
game over you're done. How lame. He hardly ever appears compared to the original and you can just run away in the remake. He is not a threat this time around. Casuals complain about him being too hard but in reality compared to the original, Mr. Dot X might as well floss dance around while Take On Me plays in the background. In the original Claire and Leon met up a few times in the game. They even Claire. communicated via radio. Right but in the shit make they only see each other once at the beginning when the helicopter crashes. Then once more at the end via the monitors. Then when they are on the train they just stand there and the credits roll. Total fucking bullshit. This on top with the above complaints showcases their hollow shallow pieces of generic shit. They have no character, personality, or emotion this time around compared to the original and Darkseid Chronicles. Even Operation Raccoon City they had better character and met up more. They should have met in the star's office like the original for confirmation on Chris. But they don't Leon doesn't even try to tell her at any point in the game about her brother. Also Chris's journal was scrapped so I guess it makes sense. But it's stupid and showcases how little story, meaning, and character they bothered putting to this shit make. Also where is Claire's knife? She had her brother's stars issued combat knife in the original and Darkseid Chronicles, love how they got rid of that as well. Not bad. I never thought any of this stuff my brother taught me would work. Stars? A special force issue, huh? It's my brother's. That's why I'm here. To find him. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey. Leon Kennedy. When you first play you will notice there are no options for anything other than Leon A and Claire A two of the same exact scenarios just with different protagonist. Same puzzles, same bosses, same weapons, same locations, same lameness. If you beat one of them you get scenario B which is the same thing just with a little slight twist here and there like Ram, Harp, Arrow instead of Harp, Ram, and Arrow for the medallion puzzles. There is no range mode or extreme battle mode. Two modes exclusive to the original game that was cut due to laziness and cash grabbiness of the shit make. The only other modes are fourth survivor and the same exact thing but with tofu and a knife. That's it. You pay $1.60 slash $1.70 for essentially two modes and four same as the others modes. What a waste of money. The campaign will only last you 2-6 hours for one character. So you're really not getting your money's worth. Rex, sir. Roger that. Just the samples then. Let's move. Remember in the original there were more weapons and items? Yeah well, Crapcom loves to cut corners and removed them from the shitmake. No more Mac 10, Rebecca Picture, 
blue card key to unlock the doors in the main hall, cabin key, down key, master key, platform key, Chris's journal, Browning high power handgun, Heckler and Koch VP-70, bow gun, bow gun bolts, and a Resident Evil 2 rocket launcher. It's also missing the special key in Brad Encounter so no costumes for you unless you buy DLC. Yeah back in my day we unlocked costumes by solving things in game and beating them. Nowadays you take the pussy casual COD filth route of buying everything in pieces. So buy the deluxe $70 version of the game or buy the costumes separately for more after you buy the base game. When you begin the game it's a straightforward route to the station. There are no stores, dumpster climbing, catwalks, basketball courts, or alleys you take this time. Instead you run around a few car pile-ups and there you go right through the main gate. Which is a huge disappointment. The game is shorter than the original and lacks locations from it. If you're going to remake a game why cut corners? Simple to save money and half-ass everything. Not only is there no real beginning so they should've just tossed us straight into the RPD like the demo but there is also cut locations in the RPD, sewers, and lab. Sherry, Ada no longer go through the treatment area to get a key and item. You no longer climb ladders and have to take care of Plant 43. You no longer go through the train yard. You no longer go through the corridors with Ada. Sherry to the train either. Plus more. Notice something missing in game? Yeah you're not the only one. They got rid of the crows, spiders, giant moth, super lickers, and ivy plant boughs. Don't worry though they just use normal liquors for the most part in the lab section of the game. They also replace the ivy plants with generic zombies covered in vines that must be destroyed with fire. How lame. This showcases their laziness and the failure of photorealistic graphics. Because they want the most realistic looking game they ended up losing out on a lot of enemies and weapons and items and more in this shit make. Showcasing the re-engine is garbage. When 1998 has more to it than 2019 you know things are horribly wrong. Also G monster that in the original popped out of Brad, Irons is gone. Instead you fight a generic creature in the sewer as many of them appear and are supposed to be like G. But they are not and only take a few rounds to kill making things more pathetic and dull and pointless and unoriginal. They replaced a boss with a generic enemy. Truly pitiful. For some reason all modern horror games rely on pitch black environments thinking that's what makes things scary. All because PewDiePie popularized it in his Let's Plays of Amnesia Dark Descent. But they're wrong, in order for it to be scary or have any tension you need eerie environments, despairing music, and a good story that makes you feel like it's a nightmare or the end of the world. Resident Evil 2 originally did this very well and was praised for that. In the shit make however you do not get this. Instead everything is too dark to see for the entire game. There are only a few light areas and even those are dark. The colors are washed out and horrible looking as well for the entire game and makes it look like an emo was in charge of the art department. The original was colorful but in the appropriate way to make it look eerie but still pop with its environmental designs. If only they realized this maybe the remake could have looked better and have a better atmosphere. Also the music is terrible in the remake and almost absent. Even with the deluxe edition scam the original soundtrack is near quiet and hardly plays. 
Most of the music is missing and replaced with the new one so why even offer the original soundtrack if it won't play? Like when Goodbye Ada occurs it uses a new song instead of the original which is stupid. If the save room loop too that would have been great but the music is almost non-existent and dull even with the original tacked onto it. Most of the time you'll just hear the character breathing as you run, which wasn't a part of the original. This only makes the atmosphere more dull and pointless overall. Truly a major mistake on their part. What should have been a remake of the original classic and best Resident Evil game in history? Turned out to be a half-baked rushed development hell experience with no love or care for the series or the original product. These developers clearly don't know shit about Resident Evil 2 or the franchise as a whole. I hope they steer clear of Outbreak and the other games the fans have demanded be remade. They should have done the Resident Evil 1 remake style by remaking the original, improving it, and adding on to it to make it look and feel different while being familiar instead of this trash heap generic shooter. If this was a spin-off I'd give it slack like I did with Operation Raccoon City but since it's a main entry and a so-called remake of the second game I cannot give it any pity. This game sucks and I would never recommend it to anyone. Go play the original. A fan made remake, Resident Evil Outbreak File 1 and 2, or Dark Side Chronicles for a more modern take on the original. This so called remake is just a major disappointment. I knew it was going to suck the moment they went silent about it after the announcement, and then three years later I was right. The E3 reveal was trash. It's nothing like Resident Evil nor Resident Evil 2. If you liked it, fine but for me it's a stab to the heart and a major disappointment.